Hey guys, how you doing? Just uh, sitting here with uh, these Bud Light Seltzer hard colas. You want to come over and hang out sometime? I have a... Uh, oh, hey, Adam. I'm... Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Gibberish. I am Adam. I am Blake. That is Blake. Yes, I am Blake. So what my birth certificate says says I am Blake. That is legally my name. My, mi my first name is I, my middle name is Am, and my last name is Blake. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> Does that mean I can start calling you I Am? No, it's I or Blake. Because... But your middle name's Am, so I well, can I start calling you I don't tell people that, Adam. First, middle, I Am. Anyways, what are we doing today, Adam? <laughs> so today we have, uh, we've got another variety pack kind of thing that we're doing, and we're going to try all of them and tell you what we think of the pack as a whole and rank our favorites in order. Yay! So today we are doing the Bud Light Hard Soda Seltzer Pack. Yay! As we told you uh, in the Bud Light Sour Seltzer Pack, the thing you wouldn't guess about us is we actually do enjoy seltzers. Yes, um, I think the stigma of if you don't drink, if you drink seltzers, you're 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 stupid, or you know other derogatory <laughs> names that we, yeah. we should not say on YouTube because it's hurtful. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's no reason to not like seltzers, honestly. Um, Especially, I mean, we're huge fans of the Bud Light seltzers. I think I Bud Light... A lot of their seltzer packs have just been phenomenal. Yeah, I think Bud Light... Barring one. Yeah, barring one. <laughs> and you know what we're talking about. If you're fans of the show, you know which one. Um, I think Bud Light has probably the best... Be best? The best <laughs> seltzers on the market right now. I mean, everyone's like, oh, I yeah. love White Claw and all this other... I'm like, I'm sorry, but Bud Light seltzers... Ooh best seltzers on the market have to go the large domestic market adam go. i know what you're talking there about we go he is also referring to toppling goliath's the uh, pseudo seltzers, pseudo -seltzers are which are yes phenomenal. those are probably the best seltzers i've ever had yes but we can't get a hold of those anywhere easily, easily. <laughs> yeah we have to make it what a four hour five hour drive to go get them we should check and see if we can get them in like davenport like right over across yeah the just line. like get across yeah. the state line yeah but we don't have those today instead we have bud light seltzer hard cola which is not a bad thing because no. i have very high hopes for these i've been seeing some of the other reviews on them and they sound like they're amazing but we're excited to tell you what we think all right. What do we want to start with? You want to start on my end? You want to start on your end? It does not matter to me. Well, okay. We're doing Cherry Cola. This is the number one. The number one uh, in the lineup, that is. Number one in the lineup. Number one in the lineup. We'll go ahead and uh, get, if I get my fat finger under there. Ah! Solid crack. And I think these are... Uh, slight disclaimer. I think Blake has tried a couple of these. I have not had any of them. So, I'm fresh eyes or fresh taste buds and you are half fresh taste buds <laughs> i'm half fresh hftb like the like like <laughs> like the fresh prince they're actually redoing fresh i heard prince about that LA. and i'm not, i don't know how to feel about I, that like I, it actually looks like a very interesting series it's on peacock um it it does it looks like it could be a very interesting series I mean, I'll if if it's if people say it's good, then I'll check it out. But you know, I'm I'm kind of hit or miss with remakes of right. series, or if it's like a different version. This of This one the looks like it's taking a lot more of a serious take. Like yeah, where, rather than the goofy sitcom sort of deal. Like the kid, like it sounds like he might be like mixed up in like some like gang stuff. Mm -hmm. or the guy that's supposed like to be the real like reason Will why Smith he got sent whatever. to Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Isn't that where he's at? Bel Air. Bel Air. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long day. Because he's West Philadelphia born and raised. On the playground is where I spent most of my days. I don't think that's the song for the new one. No. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. <laughs> looks literally like a it Diet does. Cola. It or looks like, like a, a, a Coca-Cola. Soda. It's not, obviously, not as carbonated. No. Um, it looks a little flat for a cola. This is it smells, smells like cherry. It smells like cherry cola or like cherry Dr. It, Pepper or something like that. It, it's 
Have you ever had a soda stream? I have not, no. So it smells like the syrup, like the yeah. very concentrated smell is, of cherry. Now coke. the question is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's what I'm wondering, but it's like, it's a very strong cherry cola smell. Right. So it, it, like it does, it smells like the syrup where it's all just concentrated. I, 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 I have had this one. I didn't, I don't think it was that severe but I can't remember exactly, so hmm. we'll give it a shot. Only one way to find out. Oh, oh mama, that's good. That is really good. That's literally like a cherry Coke. That's, yeah, that's very good. It's very close to it's, a cherry it's Coke. It's very, it's it's very sweet, very yeah. sweet. Like there's, they definitely go very heavy with the cherry. It's like imagine, this. it's like imagine, imagine like I know like was it grenadine or something like that, or there's, yeah. there's some sort of cherry thing you can add to stuff like, like non-alcoholic. It almost tastes like they'd made it. They had a cherry coke and then they dumped a little more cherry grenadine in it. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what it tastes like. It's very overly cherry, but it's very good. It's good, yeah. All right, part two. I had a bad first drink, and then it like gulped down the wrong way, so that I had to like struggle to chug the rest of it down. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, very it, good. it has a very similar uh, feeling of chugging like a Coca Cola when you, you know, but it's not as bubbly. Here's the thing: I'm gonna, I'm gonna advise against chugging it. I'm getting a lot of like cherry cough syrup taste. Yeah, I feel after like chugging it. Yeah, I feel it like it's very good on the drink, but the chugging well, I is think, very is just so very cherry flavored that I do I taste a lot of cherry cough syrup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I mean this is definitely something you don't want to chug. I mean, you can, but you're going to get all, all that cherry flavor is just going to pile up on top really quick. Right. And you're not going to like the taste. It's going to be too sweet. It's going to feel too like they added in fake stuff mm -hmm. or something like that. The very artificial flavoring that has been thrown into it really comes out. But, you know, the chugging, take that out of that. That's a really That's good. very good. It's very good. Before we get any further... Make predictions. Which ones do we? Which one do we think is going to be the best? See, I'm leaning towards orange. Well, I'm leaning to the classic because of the fact of it's basically the cherry cola only without the cherry. That's fair. And if it's going to taste like a reg, uh, it's supposed to taste like a Coca Cola. I mean, they pretty much almost got it down pat on this one. Yeah. So. I don't know. I'm a huge fan of orange soda, so I'm really hoping the orange soda is the best one. I just wanted to knock my socks off. Gee willikers. Golly gee willikers. All right. Next so, up, we've got the citrus one. soda. So it's, it's going to be, be like, like a lemon lime. Seven up Sprite, Sprite, yeah. Kind of thing. I've heard not great things about this one. So it's got a green color to it. I think all these are colored, kind of like the sours are. Yeah. Looks a little bit like a mellow yellow. I would say it almost looks like Mountain Dew or mellow yellow. Yeah, Mel uh, Mountain Dew I think has a lot more greenish to it rather yeah. than yellow. I don't know, because also their bottles are tinted. Yes. <laughs> He's just trying to reach over. Balance. Life is one big balance. It's the balance in the force. Use your Jedi Anakin mind did not have it. <laughs> Ask the younglings, anyway. <laughs> it does smell like Sprite. Uh, it, it, it smells like a combination of mellow yellow and Sprite. Right. Like, it's it, it does. It smells like a mix. I don't know, I'm not. The smell right off isn't doing it for me. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the situation with the lemon the sour. Lemon, yeah. Where it kind of like, for some reason, there's a weird smell, like dry pee. Yeah. And it's a little bit there, too. It's not as bad as that. Yeah, definitely, like, it's, on camera, it looks a lot more yellow, but in person, it looks a lot more green. Yeah, so, let's take a shippy ship. Mm, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. I'm definitely getting, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, not nah, hold on. Also, disclaimer, we are rinsing the glasses in between each one, so... 
like the previous one doesn't like alter the flavor. I feel like, yeah, alter the flavor of the glasses. Um, I feel like this, um, the lack of the carbonation you would find in a normal Seven Up or a Sprite that isn't there, mm -hmm. it, it kind of feels like. Imagine you put like, I don't know, like the syrup in with like a little bit of carbonation and mixed it up. Mm -hmm. But because like I wouldn't say not even a little bit, like a bunch of the syrup in, yeah, and not enough carbonation, and it's real thick. Yeah, Seven Up, yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of thing. You know what I mean? I get what you're saying. Like, there's not enough carbonation in it to really distribute the flavor properly. Right. And I feel like that's what's going on with this. I, 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 I agree with that assessment. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird if you look at it with my assessment, but it makes sense, you know? And that's what makes sense with this one. Yeah. But, not, I, I mean, mean it's not, not bad. Yeah, not bad. It's, it's fine. But it, I, I think this is probably going to end up being our last place. Yeah. As long as these two pan out the way we think they're going to. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's drink our pee. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you drinking it? <laughs> it's sterile and I like the taste. It's sterile. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, Is you can dodge a ball. For me to drink, drink my, my own, own urine? urine? No. I do it anyway because I like the taste. It's sterile and I like the taste. <laughs> Patches Ohula. R.I.P. Chug much better than the drink. So it's the opposite. The opposite is true. Well, you had a bad experience on that one because you kind of like flopped your first drink. Yeah. And then... But I, this one definitely tasted a lot like cough syrup. Yeah. This one not this as... This one honestly tastes like just a normal soda. Yeah, it tastes like a soda. When you're chugging it, it's... I wouldn't a lot more of a normal soda. I wouldn't me. say like a Seven Up or a Sprite, but like a no. Jones soda. I would say it's like a sort Jones. Of deal. Honestly, when I chugged it, it tasted it tasted more like a mellow yellow. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't had one of those in forever. I like it. I, I like that one. That's surprising actually, too to me. After that, it's probably going to end up ranking above the Cherry Cola. Oh, I don't know. Let me have some time to deliberate. All right, so we go to the orange now. Yep, you can okay. open this one. I figured it makes sense for us to alter Nate. Alter Nate. We need a guy named Nate on the show. We could say alter Nate. <laughs> we must alter Nate. We have the technology. It's called getting him drunk. <laughs> it's getting him drunk. <laughs> Which we are not I doing. Am very excited about the color of this one. <laughs> It looks like an actual orange soda. I was gonna say, it is very orange, and it looks like orange soda. I am very excited about this. Some orange crush. I've got my spine, and I've got my orange crush. Oh, no. Is this the dangerous one? Oh, no, no, no. Is this the dangerous oh, one? Man. <laughs> if this tastes... Exactly how it as smells. As good as it smells. I can smell it from here. This is going to be That's how strong. amazing. So very clearly, it looks like it even has more carbonation yeah, in it. This one definitely. But it's, it's this not This is clear. where they put their focus. Yeah. Oh my the orange, gosh. The orange is so overwhelming. Oh, this And it's is, a good thing. I am very excited about this you one. You want to just get into it then? Yes. Straight up orange soda, isn't it? That is orange crush. It's not as what's the it, what, it's, it's not as it's not a as, bite. Yeah, the bite. You know how I you mean, drink an orange crush. I feel it's like the, that's the alcohol in it. Yeah, the alcohol is kind of cutting some of the flavor. But I mean, when you're anticipating an alcoholic orange crush, yeah, that is it. I feel like you could actually like <laughs> take take this if you could find a way and literally find popsicle trays. And pour it in there, put oh. the sticks in, an alcoholic popsicle, orange crush popsicle. Just like our uh, retro pack. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good that idea. Is delicious. Yeah. Your mind this, is blown, this isn't is it? This is definitely number one for right now. I have a feeling right this, now, too. This but has I, to this is, really do something This, has to, this literally me. has to taste exactly like Coca-Cola. Yeah. And see, but I don't I think it will. I prefer orange soda over Coke. So. I think I think most people do, but the fact of they know how bad it is technically for you. I mean, obviously Coca Cola is bad for you too, but when you see orange soda, 
it's like, oh, there's so much stuff and crap in that that you don't want to drink it. Especially when you get your stuff and crap and what? What? Anyways. <laughs> I am actually really excited about this. <laughs> oh my god, that's delicious. 10 out of 10. <laughs> that is phenomenal. Yeah, I, I got a little bit of the, like, alcohol yeah. taste in there, but, but it lasted for, like, maybe a second and then was gone, and just is, the orange and the bubbles. It is orange soda. It is literally alcoholic orange soda. That is exactly what it is. That is delicious. Yeah, that that's great. And that is amazing. I can't, like, I think I saw someone on TikTok was rating this pack. He was like, hey, try this. And they gave him this pack, and I think they said this one wasn't good, and this one wasn't good. I know, right? Yeah. I got zero problems, big fan. Well, and here we are. We to the are final one. To the last one I've, in the pack. I've heard this one is secondly supposed to be the best one. So we are at the classic cola. So I mean, this I'm, is. I'm kind of curious is this going to taste more like Coke or is this going to taste more like Pepsi? I feel because like. Two the, distinct flavors, but both cola. I feel like. It's feel, RC, isn't it? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, I may not have a lot of money, but I don't have that the lack of that money. <laughs> While we're at it, unpopular opinion. RC is better than Pepsi. You know what? Actually, I will agree with that. Yeah. I can't say it's better than Coke because Coke is... Coke is Coca-Cola. It it's best. been around since 1882 or but whatever. RC... Before when is, they had cocaine in it. RC is better than Pepsi. Yeah. I, I it think, deserves I, the number two spot. Yeah. I think the only reason why... Pepsi is as popular as it is is because of Mountain Dew. Pepsi's as popular as it is because of marketing. They just have the yeah, money. They to just market have the it. money to mark everything, yeah. But Mountain Dew is like That literally just looks exactly like a Coca-Cola. Yeah, and it fizzes like it too. Yeah, it does. But no, Mountain Dew is definitely the staple of like Yeah, Pepsi, that that's Pepsi where they get all their money, not from Pepsi, it's Mountain Dew. Cuz guess what? We need our uh XP points. <laughs> I never wants to cash one of those. I never in. either. I think that was a <laughs> stupid thing to do. I was like, why, the f why do I even need? Why do I even need this after all the Xbox nights and all the yeah. Mountain Dew bought and all that? So you get twenty thousand Mountain Dew it. bottles, and you're just like, I don't even want to worry about this. Throw right. it away. Oh, that smells like Coca Cola. See, I think it smells more like Pepsi. I think you're right. I was like, oh, it's Coca-Cola. And now mm -hmm. I'm like... It smells more like a Pepsi. It does. I don't know what it... So I feel like Pepsi definitely uses a little more like sweetener or something in it. Because mm -hmm. it's definitely more sweet. Mm -hmm. And that's how it smells. It smells like it's more sweet. Right. I'm... I'll, I'll say if they, made a, if they made a Dr. Pepper version of this, I would oh. literally buy... A, a case. cream soda. Ooh, I feel... Oh. oh. <laughs> we need a cream soda. Orange soda. Heavy whipping cream. We could find a way to make it work. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> the next episode of Barish. <laughs> Dreamsicle. Cheers. It tastes like Diet Coke. Or Diet Pepsi. Not like actual Coca-Cola. Yeah, no, that's... Or Pepsi. It's literally like a diet Pepsi. Yeah. Very... Underwhelming. Underwhelming. The flavor is there, and it tastes exactly like a diet Pepsi. Yeah. But the problem is, it's a cola, not a diet cola. Get your shit together, Bud Light Seltzers. <laughs> I wonder if that will change after the chug, though. We'll see. I, was say, I mean, it's very easy to drink. I mean, I mean this, this, for me, changed my mind after the chug. Yeah, and that's supposed to be the worst one. Yeah. Allegedly. But then again, this is all opinion as well, as we all know. Allegedly. With an ostrich. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> well, it comes down to this. No, it's definitely diet. 
Like, it tastes like a Diet Pepsi. Um, I did get a lot more flavor off of it, though. A lot more flavor. But the alcohol yeah, flavor is right. at the end. Yeah, I think you're right. That's definitely a lot more of a diet, diet or like a so zero like... calorie or a um, caffeine free one. Yeah, that's what I'm getting off of that. I mean, I it's good. I like it. It's good, but I don't love it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too. Like, for some reason, you know, it just it just doesn't something about it just isn't right. You know, is it like we said, it tastes like a diet cola of sorts. But something about it is just not... It's just not right. Yeah. But I do like it. It's all They're all good. Yeah. So far, I mean, honestly, they were all good. Mm. But I think it's time that we rank them. Okay. Do you want to do your ranking first? You go ahead and do yours first, because you I did my ranking first. So mine might be... I know where it's going. A little controversial. <laughs> Are you putting... Number yeah. one. Number one. That side's number Orange one. Orange soda's number one. My mm -hmm. left. Number one. Ooh. Number two. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> three. And honestly, the cola is my least favorite. And that's the thing. It's not that it's bad. It's, it's just not bad. It, None out, of, bad. out of this pack is literally <clears throat> what we think the best flavor of the pack is. Right. And, and for me, that orange soda, phenomenal. Oh, yeah. The orange soda, like, <laughs> I, I can't believe someone said, oh, no, this orange soda is bad. Is I'm like, that's hearsay and lies because the orange soda is amazing on this. It's hearsay. Uh, hearsay, yeah. Thieves and scoundrels and li liars and slander. Yeah. Libel. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So you gave your rating. Yes. Um, and just so I say it out loud, orange soda then those citrus, citrus and then cherry, cherry cola, cola and cola. classic cola. I should say should say diet cola. That's um, basically what it is. So mine is not too far off. Um, <laughs> wonder ready. if I do this Get long enough. Little finandlers in there. <laughs> I wonder if I do this long enough, they'll just move on their own. <laughs> Cut. Then you just take your finger and push one out. It's like. <gasps> <laughs> Um, really, um, I feel like, yeah, the orange soda, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The cherry cola, though, for me, is more accurate to cherry cola rather than the classic cola, Yeah, you know, yeah. is it's supposed to be, oh, it's Coke or Pepsi. No, right. it's not. It's a diet of sorts of whatever. The cherry cola, though, really stays in that same, in the wheelhouse of actual cola yeah and i really do enjoy that one but it's also i wouldn't chug it i would drink it regularly sure this one i would if i saw one of these and they hand someone handed it to me i would chug that i would shotgun this that's how good that is i, I drink it i chug it i do anything with it <laughs> yeah this is my rifle this is my gun this is for fighting this is for fun that is exactly what this orange soda is i the orange is great that that's Top 10 out of 10, as we said. Top tier. The cherry cola, this actually feels like a soda that I would drink right. casually. Yeah. The citrus, I thought it was good, but the overwhelming of the citrus and not enough carbonation sure. is what's killing it a little bit for me. Makes sense. And this is strictly a diet cola. I think they mislabeled this. Obviously, it's not going to be like an actual Coca-Cola or a Pepsi. Right. But this definitely does remind me of a diet Pepsi or a diet Coca-Cola. Yeah. And honestly, like if people have said this is the best one, I feel like they're lying. We're a little different. I mean, yeah, we're different. We have our own opinions on things. But, you know, I still think it's good. Like, on a, if I bought another pack of this... I would literally take this pack, take it home, and I would drink every single one of these. I love all of these. They're all good. They're, They're all, all good. Very good. Especially, like, I've never seen any beer company make hard seltzers into coca into colas. Yeah. Or hard soda, I should say. I feel like it's genius. It and is. I, and, I fa and the fact that some people aren't jumping onto this is wrong. Like, you guys right. really need to check these out. They're really good. I guess. With that, though... Between their two newest seltzer packs, the sour seltzer mm -hmm. or this, 
what would you choose? Oh my God, you're putting me on the spot with that. Okay. So, like, I which think. Which pack would you go with? I'm going to put this over the sours. You would take this over the sours? Yes. Okay. Here's the reasoning being these are sodas, they're bubbly. Like, obviously, the, so the sours are bubbly as well. Mm -hmm. These aren't as extreme in flavor. Which makes sense. Yeah. Like, like we said, the blue raspberry and the sour apple, very blue raspberry and very sour apple flavor. Um, you know, it that's it tastes more like candy than it does actual, mm -hmm. like a seltzer. Whereas this, you know, it just seems like I'm drinking a soda, which is, it is a right. soda, you know. And I would... I would probably drink these more than I would the sours. Right. But I mean that I'm I'm like I'm like this with the packs. Yeah. Because they're both fantastic that I don't find anything wrong with either of them. But I would probably buy these more than the sours. My vote like flavor-wise, I would take the sours. Right. The sour seltzers to me were the best flavored seltzer pack. Yeah. But I get what you're saying where if it's going to be what you're drinking all night and everything. Yeah. This is definitely the more easy going flavors and you can drink more of them and mm -hmm. cuz I mean at that yeah. point you're just it just feels like you're drinking soda, right. you know. Whereas the sours it it, it tastes like candy. Yeah. You know, basically and is it what would, it does. It'd be a little overwhelming after yeah. a while. So I think in that longevity longevity time period, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So. So. What do you give this rating on this entire pack? Did we do the sours out of 10 or out of 5? I think we did it out of 5. Out of 5? Yeah. I would give this seltzer pack 4 and a quarter. Right. Okay. Did we give the sour like a five out of five, like the both of us? I think so. Yep. Or like a four and a half or something. Yep. I'm gonna give this uh five point two. <laughs> five point two. No, I'm gonna give this uh four and three quarters. And if um you know, we're not I don't know think we're gonna like do a like a return to that pack, the sour pack. Um had I tried both of these before we had done the sour one, the sour episode. Yeah, like we had the opportunity to try all four of these and all four of those. Mm -hmm. Then I would have put this probably above the sour pack. That's fair. Uh, so my score, my rating on the sour pack has changed to like four point seven four. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's it's neck and neck. Yeah, it's literally that close. Like I would, I'm totally happy and totally, I would be very happy just to get either or of those sure. packs. Yeah. Because they're fantastic, I enjoy drinking them, and it just reminds me of being a kid. <laughs> so I mean, all, honestly, that's all that matters. It's all about being a kid. Yeah, <laughs> we get old just to be kids again. Yeah, we 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 can't eat tricks anymore. Did you notice they're all just colored balls? They're not even shapes. Kids, we can't even see we it normally. We anymore. can't even eat those anymore. They used to look like like fruits. I wonder how. So. I'm, I'm still but, five. But light is giving us the opportunity to be kids again. And we thank you. Thank you, Bud Light. Thank you, Anheuser-Busch Company. I guess... I might we, start crying. With that, you know our rankings. But we want to hear what you guys think. If you're a Seltzer fan, try the two packs and let Blake go hide in his room. But seriously, go out and try the packs and tell us what you think. Do you agree with me? <laughs> or do you agree with Blake? I mean, I, clearly I'm the intellectual here. <laughs> or <laughs> would you rank these in the same way? Would you rank the sours the same way? Would you pick the sour pack over this pack? Would you pick this pack over the sour pack? We want to know. Let's tell know. us what you think. Tell us in our socials, which is in the description down below on this video. Yeah. And you can check out our Instagram or our TikTok. I yes. post some stuff on TikTok. He's put TikTok. 
He, I post some stu stuff shape. on TikTok. He posts stuff on TikTok. And we post stuff on Instagram sometimes. So, yeah, let us know. We're always open to reviews and, like, new suggestions. So Absolutely. And like and some or like this video, subscribe to our channel. Um, yes. I we just want to get our names out there. We want to tell you everything. Yeah, but we're, so, we're really happy that uh, we're starting to see not just our friends and family subscribing, but we're also really glad to see other uh, YouTube channels and review channels or, you know, booze channels that are starting to follow us a little right. bit. I that's think that's awesome. really cool. You know, I don't, like, me personally, like, right now we're in early stages of this, but the fact we've gotten, gotten we're several... We're in it for the long haul. We're, the fact we're getting so many responses and so many things going on, you know, it's really nice, and I think it's really cool. You know, every episode we're we're growing. It's encouraging We're to getting keep better. Us, it, it encourages us to keep going and keep putting content out there and keep doing reviews. Because and, you demanded it. Yeah, and we <laughs> really enjoy doing it. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. so thank, oh, thank you to everyone. You know, we really have a lot of fun doing this. You know, I wish we could do it more often, but, you know, we could, but... Then Maybe we, one day this could be our real jobs. Yeah. How, how awesome would that be? We just get invited <laughs> to breweries and distilleries to go try stuff and review Who it. Who knows where the world will take us. It's but a mystery. Now, we're just happy to be here giving you guys content and... Like we said, we just want to give you the stuff that you guys like. So tell us what to try next. And be reasonable. <laughs> we can't go and buy a Louis the Louis the Fourth you know, bottle. Yeah. It's four thousand dollars. You uh, know. Yeah. Keep in mind, we're young. <laughs> <laughs> we're young. We don't have that much money. Uh, but you know, if you have something you know that's not out of the realm of possibility, let us know. Yep. We'll do what we can. We're still working through some other uh, recommendations, too, while Maybe also that. trying to keep current with new releases and stuff like that. So we're trying to balance everything the best we can, and we're also trying to find all the stuff that people are recommending. But we will do our best. We will do our best. We will do it for you, the fans, and my mom. Hi, are, mom. You are what matters. <laughs> and so is Blake's mom. <laughs> Thanks, Bindi. <laughs> With right. that, I am Blake. I am Adam. Thank you for joining us on this joining us on this fantastic episode of Gibberish. Yes. And with that, get me a whole hard cola seltzer pack. Do it. I'm gonna need twenty bucks. All right.